Hey again, you and welcome back to another test request. So we got a 2v2 full build. So we got Ginyu with Power Body, Dendity Tailing, Sirius, Unfreeze AI, and Costume 2 tagged with... Oh, I don't have to go to him. Goldo with Kabito Secret Art, Key Plus 1, Eternal Life on Cell AI. Versus Birder with... Quick fast attack, combo master, serious, attack plus one, active heart, and Dendi's healing on Goku AI. Tagged with Jace with Savior, Key Plus One, Kibito Secret Art, Ignition, Dragon Spirit on default AI. So almost everybody's here except for Raccoon, but he has his own demons to face, if you know what I mean. Why? Why would you do that to Raccoon? I mean, I'll do the test, but you're just asking for Raccoon to just get his butt kicked. Alright, so let's see who's going to be the better melee. I mean, that power body, that might make him be on par with the strength of Birder. So far, Ginyu is kicking that butt, showing who's the leader of the team. Birder hasn't thrown out any punches yet. Hasn't even touched the Ginyu yet. Full power energy ball connects. For 6.8k points of damage. Self-harm. Well. That's what we get for using that AI, huh? <laughs> They're both charging. They're supposed to be melee. I don't think... Space mock attack? Let's say... Birder... Oh, finally! Birder throws out a punch. <coughs> Maybe, uh... Full power energy ball. Maybe Goku's not the right A. Or maybe Trunks or Majin Buu. I don't know. But he doesn't seem like he wants to do any melee. Full power energy wave connects. For 9k points of damage. It's about an even fight right now. Freeze is doing a lot of self-harm and that's not helping. But it looks like Birder can't fight through power body. I believe to go through power body you have to have the strength of a Super Saiyan or higher. And I don't think... Uh, uh, I don't think Birder has the strength of a Super Saiyan. Not to not to smashes and counters from Birder. That's one way to handle the situation, but Galactic Dynamite, pretty nice combo from Frieza. Still by even fight now. <coughs> it's a lot of smashes. <coughs> that's how that's how Birder's gonna handle his power body. Lots of lots of melee combos from Birder, but the power body just says I do not care. So the season might be a little bit more dangerous for Birder now since he can't just go ham on his melee combos if someone has power body. So look out for that. Well, power energy ball from Birder misses. Well, not misses, but dodged by Ginyu. Still looks like the B twos and the pa and the self harms by. Ginyu are right, catching up to him. Still close flight though. Space Mock Attack does not connect. Ginyu hits him out of it. And Ginyu takes down Birder. Barely. Here comes Jace. Jace don't do an ultimate. It's not worth it. Does not get off the fighting post 5. And Ginyu just has a sliver of health. Come on Jace. And Jace takes him out with a blast. Alright. So now it's Jace versus Goldo. All the energy bash from Golda connects for 4.5k. We'll just do an ultimate. Got a high speed clash. Golda wins. Crusher Ball connects for 9.6k points of damage. Golda is still in the lead though. So is this still is this the same Jace that was impressive? during the gauntlet. Hasn't done his ultimate. Just a little bit of melee right now. Volley misses. You know, I always thought it was cheap that you guys could have, you know, like, Kabito Secret Art when you have a B1 that puts you max power. I mean, for goodness sakes, Team Gohan got it banned on him. And, you know, he's like, oh, because he spammed ultimate. And Jace likes to spam his ultimate, too. So, 
I was like, yeah, I'm kind of pointing fingers. I was like, I don't think it's fair, but you know what? Like, I guess you really can't compare Jace to Team Gohan. You guys are in a higher division this season, though. And it looks like Golden might pull this out. Full power energy wave connects. Oh, never mind. For 7.4k, Psychic Rock though connects for 6.5k. Fighting pose by Godo does get off. Full power energy wave misses, and Ginyu and Godo win. It's nice to have All right, let's go around two. Pull that sword, Gohan. Pull that sword. Oh. All right, so let's see if Berta can do anything against the po power of power body. I keep on wanting to say potty body, because <laughs> it rhymes. Uh, looks like Ginyu is just giving it. Oh, space mark attack dodged by Ginyu. And now, uh oh. About a bar ahead now. Self harm by Frieza. Big surprise there. Frieza just loves him some self harm. And Verter, Verter just can't get some footing. Full power energy ball connects for 6.7k points of damage. I, oh, Frieza was behind him, but thought he was going to do a little bit more than that when it came to melee. Galactic Dynamite misses. Fighting pose 2 connects. Self harm connects. A couple of smashing by Birder. Thought he even fight now. Face mock attack connects. for 8.7k points of damage. Got a high speed clash. Berta wins and ends it with a full power energy ball. That was a great combo. And Berta wins by like two bars of health. They want to take this to round three. Got a high speed clash. Goldo wins. And ends it with a full power energy volley for 5k. Godo tries to get off stance, his sighting stance, but does not get it off. Burr still has that charge penalty though. And Burr, you know, you are, I want to see some melee combos. Space lock attack connects. For 7.7k points of damage. Fighting Post 2 connects. Like a Grok throw connects and Birder is down. And Godo has bought this fight back into a almost winnable state. Godo's been pretty impressive. Full power energy wave. Mm, connects. I was like, oh, it misses. But then I was like, Godo's oh, probably going to be an idiot and go into it. So. Let's just say it connects. Full Power Energy Wave connects again for 6k. Fighting Post 4 connects. Throw from Goldo. Crusher Ball connects for 11k point damage. Fighting Post 4 connects. He likes to use that fighting, fighting post 4 and go back into max power over and over again. Just doesn't seem very fair. If Crusher Ball connects and it's over, we are going to round 3. One. Two. <laughs> Alright, so let's see who will win the belt this time. Both of them charging up. Both of them at full power. Uh oh, but Ginyu is behind Birder. Gets off a nice melee combo for 5.7k points of damage. Pretty good. Birder has just not been doing the melee. Self-harm and then gets hit with the Crusher Ball. What, do you have a fruit addiction now? You have a self-harm addiction? You're a masochist? You put him on Freeze AI and all of a sudden he's just doing that self-harm a lot. Birder with Goku, his melee game just hasn't been that impressive.
Maybe you want to try a different AI, maybe Trunks, Majin Buu, maybe Broly. Base mock attack connects. Lots of B2s though. 7.3k points of damage. About a half of our head now. Full power energy ball connects. For 6.8k points of damage, gets out the fighting pose. Does get it off, but does get hit with the B2 for 7.3k points of damage. Self-harm does not get off that self-harm addiction. Power body is being faced through because of the max power. Ooh, and, and the space rock attack connects. That charge penalty, though. And it looks like Ginyu is going to give it to Birder now. Very fast dodging by Ginyu. And Ginyu's already brought us back to a winnable state. Base smock attack dodged. And Ginyu is just giving it to him with this melee combo. Throw from Ginyu. Fighting pose 5 gets off. High speed clash. Ginyu wins and Ginyu wins and defeats Birder. Here comes Jace. Galactic Dynamite connects for 6k points of damage. And because Jace is at max power, he can fight through the power body. Purple Comet Attack connects and Ginyu is down. Here comes Birder. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Connects for 15.7k points of damage and Ginyu is down. Now it's Goldo versus Jace once again. Who will be the more impressive? Will we see the Goldo from round one or will we see the Jace from round two? Full power energy wave. Dodged. Finding post three. Connects. Will we see a pencil being thrown? No, it's not a pencil. It's like a sharpened log. Looks like a pencil though. Blast Volley, dodged by Jace, and now that charge penalty, though. A little bit of juggling by Jace. Jace charging, that key plus one being... Was it key plus one? I think it was key plus one. Volley connects a little bit. Does not get off four. Jace still missing with his blast. Binding pose three gets off. Grabbed by Jace. Jace charging up. Jace at full power. Although they're not really doing anything. Wally doesn't really connect. Tries to do another fighting post 3, but does not get it off. Maybe you should put like light body on Jace so he can get off them fight fighting post threes. Since you want him to do them so much. Just a suggestion. And it looks like Goto is kicking Jace's butt right now. Pretty good melee game. Despite not being much of a meleer. Psychic Rock Throw. Dodged. And you also gotta be cautious of them charge penalties. Maybe kick it up to key plus two, super minus one. And them charge penalties are definitely killing. Fighting plus four does not connect. <coughs> Fighting post three connects. And it looks like Godo may have this. A J <laughs> I'm about to say a, a Jace from Grab. <laughs> Fighting post four does not connect. Gets the Psychic Rock Throne and Silver. And Godo and Ginyu win. Alright, so I hope that you found this test helpful. Thank you for supporting me as your tester, and I'm always looking forward to doing some more tests for you. Thanks for watching.